If you have followed the latest uh, ALS and ATPS integration guide, you are probably experiencing these two issues. Okay, the first one is when you are drawing the bow, your feet is locked to the ground. Now the other issue is when you are running around, your character tends to rotate to the wrong direction. In this video, I will show you what they are all about and uh, the easiest way to fix them. Hopefully, this will also help you towards a better understanding of both projects. Okay, let's begin with the first issue. Now, the foot locking issue only happens when we are drawing the bow and uh, applying aim offset. The difference between bow's aim offset and uh, any other weapons is the bow's AO actually has a montage playing on top, this bow draw animation montage. So if we search for charge and open this one up, this montage only blends out when we release the left mouse button. But what does this have to do with full locking? Well, if you go to ALS and MBP, and uh, within this foot IK layer, you will see foot locking is controlled by these two alphas. And uh, if you find reference, these two alphas are calculated within this function. I will spare you the painful debugging process and uh, skip to the fix. What happened is uh, the engine is mistaking these two curves for, for the foot lock curves. So if you do a print string on these two alphas, you will see one of them goes from 0 to 1 almost instantly and uh, the other one progress from 0 to 1 in a few seconds, which is exactly like these two curves. So to fix this, we just need to remove these two curves. But before you do that, make sure to create these two curves inside this anim sequence up here. If you have followed the last video to the end, you probably have done this already. Let's do a quick check. Open asset. Yes. Okay. Now if we remove these two curves. Save. It won't break any function. So let's give it a test. Now if we draw the bow, we are no longer locking our feet to the ground. Good. All good now. Now let's move on to problem number two. Now this happens because ALS and ATPS are both trying to fix the leg crossing problem when blending diagonal movements. Basically, it looked like this. I mean, you got perfectly good directional movement animations, but if you blend them at a certain angle, the legs will cross, will clip through. ALS and ATPS are both trying to solve this issue by adding an extra yaw rotation. Basically, we are overcompensating, so if you come to ATPS and BP and uh, disable this part with the warp angle, Compile and save. Now the movement is back to normal, right? But there's a problem. So if we are holding a shield, and uh, we're basically having this issue again. Same goes for when we are dual wielding or with a shield or with two pistols. So. We are moving to a diagonal movement rotation. Basically, we are facing the wrong direction here. So we are going to add a condition to this warp angle. Let's move it downside. Let's drag in um, dual wheel status. Okay, we want to select. And we want to have the weapon types. 
and weapon type offhand as well. We want to use them equal to equal to shield as a condition. Now by default, shield slot is a offhand slot, so we're going to skip the first two and uh, go straight to this one, offhand only. When we are holding only an offhand weapon and it is a shield, that's the condition we need. And if we are holding an offhand weapon in the main hand, we can use either this one or that one, both okay. Because in this condition, we are synchronizing main weapon and offhand weapon index. So we're talking about the same weapon here. So plug this in. When we're dual wielding, if any weapon is a shield, so let's add an or condition here. Either main hand or offhand weapon is a shield. We want this condition. So put it in here. These are the conditions we need, and we need to do another select. Select float. So if any of these are true, we add warp angle to this. Otherwise, we just add zero. Compile save. Now the shield should be fixed. Okay. Good, looking good. But there is another problem. So if we buy two pistols and start dewielding two pistols, now the pistol dual wield locomotion direction is still off. So we are getting back here. Now these two we want to bypass the first one because this is for offsetting the upper body rotation with this warp angle variable and the first one is for dual wielding pistols we want to leave this to ALS so bypass this compile save come back here get two pistols get a shield as well okay shield is also working just fine to two pistols okay now we're facing the correct direction good that's it um, if you find any other issue just let me know I if it's hard to fix I will find some time to make another video